Hey guys, Stanier here. Um, we're gonna do some grinding, and while we're doing some grinding, there's some stuff that needs to be talked about. I don't know if you've heard about this bill that is trying to be passed through Congress. It's called S978. Um, you've probably heard about it from either a bunch of different things or whatever. Basically, this video and all the other videos out there like it would be removed if you sang karaoke. Yeah, well, let me, let me start from the basics. Okay. The whole point of the bill is to crack down on copyright infringement. And when you just think about that, you know, the first thing that comes to your head is, that's not bad. Right back. Okay. Um, when you think about it, that just by itself doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, you know, copyright infringements, you know, questionable. Um, I think in some cases they're taking it a bit too far and there needs to be some sort of buffer. Uh, you know, videos like this, you can't go out and really buy, you know, Seven Saga anymore. I mean, some people can, some people can. If you can find it, you can find it. Um, some people, you know, some things you can buy, some things you can't. So, you know, okay, that's fine. Worry, um, okay, um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to someone right now. Hey, Rip, um, about it, um, she's got one video of her, you know, singing along to, uh, Justin Bieber. Huh! Speaking of Justin Bieber, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but basically, it's, uh, the law basically goes, hey, if you have any video whatsoever that has anything that's copyrighted by somebody other than yourself in it, if you have ten people look at one video, one person look at ten videos, or whatever, within a six-month period, you will get sent to jail for between a couple of months all the way up to five years. This is ridiculous, isn't it? Their stance is that it is infringing on the capability of corporations and people that are the true copyright holders to make money. And they're not considering it under fair use. Um, you know, the people that have wedding videos on YouTube or on other video sharing sites that have um, Sorry, this is gonna be a pause start pause stop video. Um, I'm not gonna even worry about playing the game, I'm just grinding. Um, but she's made a good point. It's freedom of speech, it won't make it. Well, it is freedom of speech, but it's also not just freedom of speech, it's also um, the issue of all the different things that they're trying to take down. If you get married, and you have a video with copyrighted music in the background, like, say, we performed um, River Flows in You by Yurima at my friend's wedding. Had they put a recording of that, they would have gotten it taken down. Um, had ten people looked at it, they both would have been sent to jail over it. I mean, this is how stupid this actually turns out to be. No, I'm just going to use it. Um, the law is so vague that unless you actually own the copyright, you will get slapped with a strike. If you hit 10 strikes, you go to jail. No way fans or butts. Oh, look, level 18. I don't think I get anything at this level. Wow. Oh, excuse me. If you've ever put a video on of you singing along to something, you'll get thrown in. It'll lead to you getting thrown in jail. A video like this will get me thrown in jail. This is how stupid it is. You can't talk about a video game. You can't talk about a movie. You can't give a review. You can't give your honest opinion. Even though it's considered free speech, guess what? You can't do it. Why? Because it's considered damaging to the revenue. I don't see how. And here's my thought. 
people are right. It is cons to me, and based on the way that transformative law is considered, th this right now is considered a transformative work. It is not a pre-programmed video game playthrough that they've record that some companies recorded of somebody pulling stuff off and you know 100% perfectly. What you're getting right now is a live playthrough of it, which is a transformative work because it is not. It, it is my reactions to it, it is my viewpoints on it, and it is me playing it. I am altering the, I guess you could say, predetermined game once it starts. It is no longer just, oh, their game. It is, this is the game that I play. You're seeing my playthrough of the game. And this is the problem that they're probably going to end up running into, and it's probably going to stall out. I can hope that it's going to stall out. If it doesn't stall out, well, then all these videos, they're pro they better. If I hope they aren't just going to try and do some sort of ex post facto thing where they go, Oh, well, you've had videos up for six years. You're going to jail for the rest of your life. Have a nice day. I hope they don't do that. I really hope they don't do that, and they, you know, if they're going to pass this and they end up passing it, then, you know, we'll fight it, people will fight it, we will sit there and show them that it is not harming the community. When you think about it, here's what I'm looking at. Okay, so, somebody says, oh, I want to go see a movie, but is it good? Okay, I don't even know where it was at. It is so vague of a law, and nobody is wanting to even bother fixing it. No one's even wanting to bother clearing up the confusion that the population's having. But oh, I hit those rules for advice too. My opinion is, for certain things, yeah, it makes sense. Um. certain things, not everything, not just, oh, I don't want it on there, so it's going to go bye-bye. Yeah, I'm getting some nice experience and stuff here. There we go, okay. Um, yeah. Um, y you know, certain... I know this is sort of disjointed because I keep responding to Riddy. Um, it's really dumb. You know, I think in certain circumstances it helps. Hang on. Okay, um... I kill the thing in one hit with ice too. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that. Um, but it's it's really stupid because all of these videos, you, how it works is it's a system of ten strikes. You hit ten strikes and you're screwed at that point. Literally screwed. I mean, and what it is is for every view, for every time that someone clicks on a link that takes to the video. you get a strike. If one person watches 10 of your videos, you get 10 strikes. One for each time it, a video was watched. If 10 people watch one video, you get 10 strikes. When you hit 10 strikes, guess what? You're going to jail. If... I don't even know what they're going to do as far as avoiding an X plus factor thing where they go, oh, well, you've had 50,000 million views. So, you're going to jail for, what, 50 billion years? Really? Um... But that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to put a stamp on this because it's affecting the income. Well, and you know, that's what they're saying, but when you... When you look at it... Think about this, and I posted this on my Facebook, but when you think about this... You look at it and you go, okay. 
I wanted to buy Golden Sun Dark Dawn for my Dark Dawn for my DS, but I didn't know how good it was. I wasn't too happy with the way Lost Age was, so you know I said, okay, I'm gonna look it up. So I looked it up, and I looked at the game on the game's website, and I go, eh, okay, but let me get an honest opinion because you know how companies are. They'll try and sell you it. They will sell the product that they're trying to sell, and they will sell it so that you want to buy it. And you know that that's. It doesn't sound too bad when you think about it, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, here's all the good parts of it. But then you get down into it and you want to hear an honest opinion from someone who's played it. Those would no longer be allowed because it's considered copyright infringement on somebody else because you're talking bad about it or something along those lines. But they never have to say that because all they have to do is go, Oh, copyright infringement, and they'll jump off of it. So, here's the fun part. With that having all been said, guess what ends up happening? I go, and I looked up, and I saw about ten different reviews of it. And I said, okay, yeah, this is what I want. Now, think if I buy, on average, two games every year. Over a five-year period, based on video game reviews and going to see movie reviews and stuff, say I spend $500 on purchasing tickets, on purchasing video games, blah blah blah. Okay, so $500 over a five year period for one person. Now say 5 million people did that, and that is on the extreme low side. So 500 times 5 million is, guess what, 2.5 billion. There's 2.5 billion dollars of revenue from across the companies, across all of the stuff, gone right there. And you know what? They aren't saying that because they're just saying, oh, it's infringing. People use this stuff. People use this stuff to get an honest opinion of what goes on during a game. You know, they just say, oh, cool, kick ass graphics. Sorry, I swore, I know. They just go, oh, crap, kick butt graphics. This is awesome. And it's only like 10 seconds of the entire game, and they hate the rest of the game, and they don't actually see what it looks like to play the game. And this is the problem that they're running into, or that they're going to run into, because a lot of us, they're going to see a sharp decline. They're trying to ensure the revenue, and they're about to squash it. So, I know this is kind of not what you wanted to hear when you turned on to watch this episode, but you know what? This is, unfortunately... What we're gonna have to deal with in the near future. But hopefully, hopefully, if they decide to pass this and they push it through, they will sit back and go, okay, you have X amount of time to remove everything. Because if they don't, we are screwed. And this guy's singing. Um We'll get back to him in the next episode. So, sorry about the bummer of this, but I wanted to let you guys know so that you can look into it. Um, S978 is the bill number. Look into it. It is very confusing. Watch other videos on YouTube Oop, excuse me, about it and go from there. Please, we have got to take a stand and tell them this is not how things need to be. Later.